Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi, if you guys are new here, my name is Brittany. Thank you guys for clicking on today's video. I'm going to be doing an empties haul today and I have done, I think two of them here on my channel before. I will link the most recent one in the description box down below in case you guys want to check it out. You missed it. So an empty haul is basically me showing all of the stuff that I've used up and I have this whole bucket of makeup product, beauty product. I have seen other YouTubers even do empties of cleaning products. I don't actually have any cleaning products today. I just have beauty products, skincare products, and makeup to show for you guys. Usually I show everything that is completely empty, but I know that some of this stuff in this basket is not fully used up. And the reason being is because I completely decluttered my vanity last week. And I will also link that video down below in the description box in case you missed it. But I completely decluttered my vanity and some of the makeup was just old and not used all the way. At the end of this video, I am also going to share a new makeup in a beauty care haul from Ulta, Target, and Walmart. Some of these products were worth repurchasing again. And so I am going to share everything that I got later on in this video. So make sure to stay tuned. All right, let's talk about all of these empty products here. I'm not gonna go into any particular order. I'm just going to kind of go with what's on top first. It is overfilling. This is the Garnier, Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Intensely Smooth Leave-In Conditioning Cream. So I actually don't use this product, but my husband Josh uses this. He uses this to style his hair. He absolutely loves this stuff. He's been using it for a few years now and every time he runs out, he always asks me to repurchase it. So this is like a must have for him. Here is the next product. It is Olay Moisture Ribbons Plus Shea and Peony Blossom. I love peony scent, especially around the springtime. Um, so that is when I did purchase this bottle. I do like the Olay Moisture Ribbons body wash, but they also have a new one that I have shared before. It is a pump style one. It has hyaluronic acid in it. I think I like that one better than the ribbon ones. I do like pump bottles more. Here is the next product. It is Nivea In Shower Body Lotion, Cocoa Butter 24 Hour Moisture. I've shared this stuff before. I love this stuff so much. I know that Olay makes one as well, and I still like the Nivea one better than the Olay. This one, and there is a blue Nivea one um, that's not the cocoa butter, and that works just as good too. So this is always something that we have in our shower. We always repurchase this. Here is the next product. It is Clean and Clear Morning Burst facial cleanser. I know Clean and Clear is just your average drugstore acne brand. Um, I actually really like this morning burst one, um, especially if you are a person who takes shower in the morning and you have this in your shower, it just brightens up, wakes you up. So um, I really do like this stuff. So I will repurchase this. Next product. The Aussie Hair Insurance Leave-In Conditioner Instantly Tames and Softens. This stuff works really good on the kids' hair. Um, Emma has very thick hair and gets tangled very easily. So we do like to use this in her hair. For my hair, it's, since I have thinner hair, it weighs my hair down a lot and can make it a little bit greasy. So I don't use this as much as I used to. I used to use it, but... Um, it just does not work for my hair anymore. If you guys have any kids, this is a great detangler. Very, very good. I've been using this for years. Even when the kids were small, I would use this instead of like the kids detangler. I would use this instead. Here is the next product. 
This was my first time ever trying this. All of the things that I've shown so far, I have tried before um, more than once. Like we've been purchasing those for a long time. This was something that was new to me a few months ago. I got it at Ulta. I believe I got it because it was on sale, but it's the brand OK, and it is a purifying gel cleanser. So when they say gel cleanser, it's like a real gel cleanser. It is so thick and um, it doesn't, it, yes, it says non-foaming formula. So it doesn't foam up at all. So it's just really thick and it doesn't, you can't lather. It doesn't move because it's so thick. Um, it has no scent to it and it is made in Korea, removes makeup, supports skin moisture barrier, um, would I repurchase this again? Probably not. Um, just because maybe I like soaps that foam up a little bit and lather a little bit and this just doesn't. So I don't know how good it cleans. Next product. And I think I have shared this before, um, when I bought it cause it was on sale, sale, but it's the Nexus Scalp Energy Protein Fusion. And it has wheat protein and ginger root. I really, really liked this stuff. This is the conditioner. And here is the other product that I bought with it. And this is the Nexus Scalp Energy Protein Fusion Gentle, Gentle Exfoliating Scalp Scrub. So this was the scalp scrub. This was the conditioner. I do have a shampoo, which is the foaming one. Um, but it's not empty yet, but I really enjoyed this line of Nexus products and I got them at Target when they were on clearance and I have not seen them since. So um, I'm sure I could probably find them online or maybe out of Sally's, but this stuff works really good and it smells really good too. Here is the next product. It's kind of crinkled, but this is the Olaplex number no. five, which is the bond maintenance conditioner. If you guys have ever used Olaplex products, you guys will probably agree with me that these are amazing. They are pricey, but a little bit goes a long way with these products. While we are on the topic of hair and conditioner, here it's two more. This is a Dove and it is the Intensive Repair um, Shampoo and Conditioner Set. This stuff smells so good like so good josh is actually the one who uses the dove um shampoo and conditioner since i have plenty of others that i switch between but he started using this uh, a couple months ago and it smells so good and it lasts like he he took a shower and then the next day we in the evening we went swimming in the pool and i could smell his hair from being wet and it smells just like this. It just smells so good. So if you guys are looking for a more affordable shampoo and conditioner available at Walmart or Target, um, try Dove just and get the intensive repair one. He's tried the coconut hydrating one. I can't remember what the exact name is. He's tried that before, but this is just so much better. This smells so good. I know I keep saying that, but just trust me. Here's the next products I'm going to talk about. If you guys follow me over on Instagram, you guys will have seen me test each shade of these self tans. This is the brand Mind Tan, and this one is in Super Dark, Dark Ash. This one is Classic Caramel, and this one is Super Dark Violet. I tested all three of these to see which one I liked the best so that I can purchase the full size. And I liked the Violet Ash or Super Dark Violet. I liked this one the best, but these worked really good. No orange tones, no streaks. And this little set I got from Amazon. Um, I can also link that in the description box down below. It's not an affiliate code. It, I'm not sponsored. Um, for the record, I'm not sponsored by any of these brands or any of these companies. I have purchased everything on my own. I'm just sharing with you guys. Uh, but I do, I did purchase these off of Amazon and it comes with a mitt and then you can try out three different shades and find which one works best for you before purchasing a full size and being stuck with that 
and you know, it might not work out for your skin tone. So um, I do really recommend this brand. Like I said, no orange tones, no streaks, and it didn't have that really bad self tan smell. Like if you guys have self tan before, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, um, but it didn't have that scent either. Next two products. It is the Gennaro Coco Cabana Cream and Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. This one is really popular. I'm sure you guys have seen it. I got both of these back in December for my birthday as a little birthday gift from Sephora. And so I got both of these. This one smells amazing. It smells like vacation, summertime, beach, smells so good. This one smells good too, but I like this one better. They are pretty pricey and I actually found a drugstore dupe, which I'm going to share later on for the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. So I would not repurchase this because I found a drugstore dupe. Next two products. Kind of lumping these together because they're both facial sprays. This is the Mario Badescu Skin Care. Uh, this was the Aloe, Chamomile, and Lavender. And this one is Hard Candy, Sheer Envy, Energizing Toner, Refresher, Vitamin C. I like this stuff because it's more of like a daytime one. It has vitamin C, helps brighten and refresh in. But um, I believe the brand is Pixie. They have one that is similar to this. It is way more expensive. I got this on sale for $5.40 from Walmart and the Pixie one or Pixel. I can't remember if it's Pixie or Pixel. I'm pretty sure it's Pixie, but theirs is like $20, $18 for this same type of spray, but that one works so much better. Uh, and it gives you like a shimmer. It does give you a glow. So I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't repurchase this one as a dupe. Um, sorry if you guys hear the dogs barking. I'm in my bedroom. I have the door shut and the dogs keep barking. I let them in. I let them out. They're still barking. So I'm sorry if you guys can hear that. Um, I think though, when it comes to this spray, I would splurge and buy the pixie one and, and spend the extra money. And then this one is one of my favorites. One of my go-tos. I've shared this plenty of times before. This one is the chamomile and lavender. I like the rose one way better. Um, but last time Ulta didn't have it. They only had this one and the cucumber melon and I don't like cucumber melon scent. I don't like cucumbers. Um, so when I go back, I will get the rose one. I even went to Ulta, which I'm going to share in Ulta haul and they still didn't have the rose water. They didn't actually have any of these in stock. They had the big ones, but there was a, but they were a three pack. They didn't have any single one. So I was kind of bummed about that. Here's the next item. This was something new that I had never used. It is Revolution Skin Care, uh, and it is Blemish and Pore Refining Serum. It is vegan, cruelty-free, and fragrance-free. I really enjoyed this. It is a glass bottle, and it does have a glass dropper, too. Um, it didn't break me out at all. I can't say that it refined my pores in any way. I have pretty big pores and I, I don't think that it did that. I don't think that it, you know, refined them or anything, but I like that it's vegan, cruelty free and fragrance free, uh, especially if you guys have sensitive skin and the fragrance bothers you. This is a really good serum. Next product. It is lip job um, sugar Lip Scrub. It's from the brand Beauty Society. I have shared this before a few times. Uh, this lip scrub that they offer is so good. I love it so much. Next product. It is the Lip Medics by Blistex. I have to have lip products on pretty much all the time. I need to put lip products on when I go to bed, when I leave the house throughout the day. Um, I just have really dry lips and they crack really easy. Um, I did get my second syringe of lip filler recently, um, last month in May. So having lip scrubs and lots of lip products, um, like 
like this or just chapstick like I'm constantly applying chapstick all that I love just keeping my lips nice and hydrated so um, this is actually empty but this is one of my go-to's I actually put this on at night so when I wake up it still has that like film on there so I really like this stuff here are some more products these are both made by e.l.f. This is the Daily Hydration Moisturizer, and this is the Illuminating Eye Cream. I really like the Daily Moisturizer. It is not scented, but it's very creamy. It's very moisturizing, so I would repurchase this. I have purchased the full size before. The Illuminating Eye Cream, it's meh. Like, I don't, I wouldn't go out of my way to repurchase this. I haven't found, like, a good eye cream that I love. Um yet so I just didn't notice any different didn't know notice any brightening didn't notice any any changes so I uh, probably wouldn't repurchase this these are the next products and these are both from the brand soap and glory this is the sexy mother pucker it is a very pretty shimmery lip gloss and it is plumping and it does work um it is in the it is sponge sugar that's what the um color is i guess it doesn't it's not really colorful at all it's just like a really bright shimmer and it does work it is a plumping gloss it does work it is affordable um so i do really like this stuff now that i have lip injections i probably won't reach for any um, lip plumping products so um, that's one of the reasons why it's not gone and it is really old so I'm tossing it in the trash after I share it with you guys this is the next one this is the pillow plump XXL in the shade nude in town and this one is just like a squeeze tube and I really really like this one um this one I would carry in my purse and they have tons of different colors. I don't know how many colors they have in this lip gloss one, but I know that they do in this one. And I really do, I really liked this, but again, I'm probably not going to reach for plumping stuff anytime soon. Here's the next one. This is Ola Neon. And it is a velvet liquid lipstick in the shade DF. And I got this in an Ipsy bag when I used to have Ipsy. I really liked it. It was very creamy. It was very velvety. And it did last. So um, I don't know where they actually sell this brand. Like I haven't seen it in any stores. Um, but then again, I haven't really been looking for it. I guess it's not one that I would be on the look for. Next product. It is Wet n Wild. It is the Catsuit Lip sticks they're matte i did get it on sale around halloween time last year it is like a very dark purple red which was perfect for halloween um i don't know if you guys have ever used the cat suit lipsticks before they are very matte they dry quickly but they kind of get cracky like, does that make sense? Like, when they dry down, you could see all your cracks in your lips and stuff. I like them because they're an affordable lip product, but I like the matte ink or matte stay by Maybelline a lot better because it does stay and it does dry down, but it doesn't get all cracky like the Wet n Wild ones do. Two more lip products. These are the last two lip products I have. And these are both from Bite Beauty. This one is in the shade Chai, and this one is in the shade Glace. And it's embarrassing, but I have had these from my birthday, not last December, but the December before. That's how long I've had these. So it's time to throw them away. They're too old. Um, I didn't... I really like both of them. If you guys have ever used Bite Beauty lipsticks, they are so smooth and buttery. They're really, really good products. They are pretty expensive. I didn't really care for the chai shade. It was a little too dark for me. Uh, it's not like dark, dark, but 
I'll see there's a little bit left. So it's just not not my shade, but this glace one, this one was a lot better. There's there, this is plastic. You can see like a tiny bit is in there. This is just like plastic, but you can see the color. So I liked this one much, much better. Would I repurchase these? Yes, if I wanted to splurge. Because like I said, they are pretty expensive and you can find a lot of cheaper options at the drugstore. But if you are looking for a really good lipstick and one that's going to last and be just so buttery, Bite Beauty is, is really good. This is an eyeliner. It's all faded. So you can't really see. And if you guys saw my vanity haul, you probably know that I said I used an old, old eyeliner and I got pink eye. And this is not it, but this is another very, very old one. This is Wet n Wild. It's just a simple pencil eyeliner. Um, very cheap. I think they're like 98 cents. Um, I just haven't really used it because it doesn't work. Um, you have to do the old lighter trick. I don't know if any of you guys have ever done this, but... Back in high school, when I would buy these little cheap pencil ones, I would take a lighter to the end, kind of get it hot, and then blow it, make sure it cooled off, and then use it. Let me know in the comments down below. Did anybody else do that? Or just me? <laughs> and my sister, actually. She did too. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to toss it because I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to do the lighter trick. I'll just buy a more expensive one. The eyeliner that... Gave me pink eye, I already threw away, but it was by the brand Pixie. And I won't repurchase it because I don't like how much it smudged and like caused like lines underneath from like blinking. I just, I didn't like it. So that one was Pixie and I threw it away the day I woke up with pink eye. <laughs> Two of these mascaras. They're both the L'Oreal Voluminous mascaras. One's original, one's waterproof. Um, the original one was gone, so I used it up. I do like this one, but if you guys know me, I always go back to the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. It is my favorite, favorite, favorite mascara. Um, and then this one is the Voluminous um, Waterproof one. It's old from last year. I'm not taking any more chances, so it's going into the garbage. But I do like the Voluminous Mascara. Next product, it is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer and I have it in light sand. I will not repurchase this even though it's cheap. I have heard that the e.l.f. concealer with the white top works so much better. It's closer to the Tarte Shape Tape. This one is very, very drying and that's why I won't repurchase it. It just creases my under eyes and makes my under eyes look patchy. But I am going to try out the e.l.f. concealer with the white cap soon. Next one. This is the IT CC Cream. It has SPF 50. Love this stuff. It works so good. It is on the bit of a pricier end. Um, but it has SPF in it. Perfect for where I live in Arizona where it's really hot and you don't want to wear heavy foundation. This is perfect. But I did find a drugstore dupe that I am liking. It's not as full coverage, but I am liking it. And it was way less money than this one. Next products. These are both eyeshadows that I got in Ipsy bags forever ago. It's DLS eyeshadow. And um, so it stands for Dirty Little Secret Cosmetics. This shade is Bikini. And this shade is bronzed. Didn't really use them that much. Just holding them. You can see there's so much fallout. They have so much fallout. If you just put your brush in it and go to apply it, it ends up all underneath your under eye. So um, I just use my Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette. And that's just my go-to. So um, any small eyeshadows like this that I've had that... I've had for way too long. I'm finally just tossing them in the trash. Next product. This is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage um, Powder Foundation. This stuff is okay. Um, I didn't use it all the way. 
it kind of gets cakey on my skin, so I don't think that I will repurchase this. I like loose powders better than firm powders, but I like firm powders for on the go. Um, right now I just have a CoverGirl one in my purse, just something super cheap. And so um, I just didn't like how cakey this got on my skin. Here's the next product. This is Milani Blush and the Blossom Time Rose shade number 11. I love this blush. It is a blush and it has shimmer in it. So good. Um, I went to use it one day in the middle of it just like sunk in. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these, um, but they're kind of like a rose pattern and the middle of it was just sunk in. And so I went to dip my brush in it and it kind of like cracked some more. So I went to turn it and like just dump the middle part out and the whole thing fell out. So that's why it is completely empty. So um, I do like the Milani blushes though, so I definitely would repurchase these. Here's the last empties product I have to show. This was the brand I was talking about earlier. It is Pixie, so that's confirmed. Um, but it is a highlight blush duo in the shade Peach Honey. Again, I got this in an Ipsy bag moons ago. Time for me to get rid of it. Um, I liked the highlighter much more than the blush. I hit pan on the highlighter. I do like this, but there's other highlighters and blushes that I like more, so I don't think that I would repurchase this one. That was a lot of empties. I'm so sorry. This video is going to be so long, but I just have so much to share with you guys. Now I'm going to move on to the new beauty and makeup products that I got. Again, I purchased them from Ulta, Target, and Walmart. I'm going to start off with Ulta first. To replace the Milani blush, I got this e.l.f. blush palette. Um, I liked it because two of them are matte, two of them are shimmer. Um, so it's blush and glow. And this was really affordable, so um, I was excited to have more variety instead of just the one Milani blush. There are the next products that I got. Ulta was actually having a sale on uh, Maybelline products. They were buy two, get one free. So this is the first one, which is liquid eyeliner. It is the matte black master precise all day um, liquid eyeliner. I don't wear this that often, but it is one of the things that I threw away. Um, that could have given me pink eye as well, along with the pixie regular eyeliner, pencil eyeliner. So I wanted to replace it just to have it um, in case I get adventurous and I want to use it. Next product, which is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Deep Onyx um, Eyeliner. It is waterproof. I've never tried this before, so I'm interested to see how I'm going to like it. And here's the next thing, which is Maybelline The Falsies Very Black Instant Volume Mascara. This one is waterproof. This is to replace the waterproof L'Oreal Luminous Mascara. Since it was on sale, it was buy to get one free, I decided to try this one. I've never tried this before. I don't wear waterproof mascara that often, but it is great to have on hand. Here's the next product. This is Pacifica SPF 45 Set and Protect Matte Sheer Setting Mist with Vitamin C and C Minerals. I always apply sunscreen before applying my makeup, but it only lasts about 80 minutes. So when I'm out in the sun, I am going to reapply with this if I'm wearing makeup, but that way I can keep my skin protected. Um, I did want the Kula one, I believe is the brand. Um, Ulta was out of it, so they only had this one in the Ulta brand. And this does not smell good at all. Um, it has like a very weird smell. If you guys have ever had the medication Zofran before, it's an anti-nausea tablet that dissolves underneath your tongue and it has this like minty taste, but medicine combined, that's what this smells like. I don't want to go all the way back to Ulta to return it, so I am going to continue to use it. Um, the smell fades. It's just at first when you first spray it on, you can smell it. Um, but it does fade, so I'm just going to continue to use it this summer. 
This is the last product from Ulta. Same brand Pacifica. This is SPF 55. And this is Shea and C Sheer Face Serum. So this actually is 55 SPF. And this is a serum that you put on before putting on any makeup. Or you could just wear the serum if you're not wearing makeup, which is what I do as well. Um, each of these are $16, but that day they had Pacifica brand on sale, buy one, get one half off. So, um, I did pick up this serum, but the main thing I wanted was the face mist, but I am really enjoying the serum. It does have a scent to it as well, but it's not harsh like the spray. Moving on to Walmart. It is Hard Candy Sheer Envy Instant Eye Fix. It has vitamin B, caffeine, and green tea. It helps soothe the under eye. It helps refresh the under eye. It does have a roller ball. I've used it once so far since buying it the other day. And it's just cooling. And I actually really do like it. I uh, can't remember how much it costs. I want to say around $6. But I am liking it. Next product. This is Headquarters Exfoliating Polish. Yuzu and Ginger Scent for balance roots and scalp. So I bought this to replace the Nexus one. Here's the inside. It smells really good. I've already used it once, um, but I bought this to replace the Nexus scalp scrub since I can't find it. And this was a lot cheaper. This was $7.98. And I believe the Nexus one, when it's not on sale, it's closer to $20. I think it's like $16 to $18. So um, first time using this this morning, I really liked it. Last product from Walmart. It's Garnier Skin Active Moisture Rescue. It is a refreshing gel cream. I have used it twice. This is what the bottle looks like. I believe it is similar to the Neutrogena Gel Boost. Um, this is a little bit strong of a scent for me. I like to wear this at night. Um, so the scent is a little harsh for nighttime. When I wore it during the day, I didn't notice it as much as I did at the nighttime. Now moving on to Target. I got this Maybelline concealer. This is my go-to. It is the Instant Rewind Eraser. I use the shape 120, which is light pale. I love this stuff. I already opened it because I've used it, but this is just my go-to drugstore concealer. In shower body lotion replacement. Love this stuff. Here is the next product. It's the Organics brand, and it is Ultra Moisture Extra Creamy and Coconut Miracle Oil Lotion. This stuff smells just like the Bum Bum Cream. It smells just like it. It smells so good. It's so hydrating. This was only around $8. The Bum Bum Cream is over $30 for the full size. Um, so this will be my new go-to when I want to have that good summer scent. Here's the final product. It is Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage Protective Makeup Sunscreen um, SPF 50 Antioxidant Enriched Pollution Protection. I got the shade 115 which is ivory. So I have tried the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Foundation. Um, and I did not like it at all. It got really oily. It got cakey. It oxidized too much. I didn't like it. So this was actually on sale for $5.49 at Target the other day. So I decided to give it a try in hopes that it would be a good drugstore dupe for the It Cosmetics CC Cream because it does have SPF 50. And I'm so glad I did try it out because I'm loving this. I've worn it twice now. And it's just lightweight, but it's full coverage. And it does have that SPF in it, which protects you throughout the summer. So, so this will be my go-to this summer when applying makeup. I'm going to reach for this. And I believe the original price, not on sales, around $14. 
and the It Cosmetics CC Cream is around $40. So you are going to save some money with this. I don't think it's as full coverage as the It Cosmetics CC Cream, but definitely a great drugstore dupe. All right, you guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing all of the empty products and hearing my feedback from them. I hope that you enjoyed seeing the new products that I got and be sure to stay tuned for a future empties video where I will review all of the new products that I got once they're empty and I have given them the full test. If you guys are new here, please consider hitting that red subscribe button. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram for some more daily content. I post there every single day. I hope everyone's doing well. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.